Content Planners, thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be doing a midweek check-in of my social media and petite planner. My social media planner is an Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner, and today I'm going to be showing you how I fill it in in the middle of the week. Whether this is your first time viewing one of my videos or if you have frequented my channel, I hope that you consider subscribing and you can do so in the bottom right corner of this video with that little red subscribe button. Now moving on to what I'm doing right now. This is what I call kind of on the fly planning. I am just deciding right now, right here, what I plan on doing on social media for the rest of the week. So it's not a whole lot of thought being put into it. I do have certain goals that I am sticking to. One of them for this week being to kind of record an, um, an abundance of videos to just kind of have on the go so that if something comes up or I'm busy or just honestly just not motivated, I can go ahead and upload those videos. And so that is my goal this week to record a sur surplus, I'm sorry, of videos. So that is my goal. So if you see me saying that I plan on uploading or filming, it is probably the surplus videos because I'm going to plan for my weekly videos on Saturday and then I'm going to record them on Sunday. Now, when it comes to my Instagram posts, I like to post three at a time because I do like to have my grid looking a certain way. And so in order to keep my grid organized, I have to post three posts um, a day. So it looks different every week, but for tomorrow, which is Friday, um, I want to upload three different kinds of posts and I'm probably going to upload them at three different times, but that's not something I need to write down because I remember when I want to post. So that's not something I will write down because I already know that I will remember. Um, and then something else that I want to do for tomorrow is edit and upload some of my YouTube videos. And so I'm writing that down because sometimes I forget to edit and then I want to upload something. And of course I cannot because I did not edit the video. It seems very simple and common sense, but realistically, I know that I have to remind myself to edit those videos. I have mentioned this in a previous video, but just as a reminder, when I'm planning in my social media planner, I've already laid it out for each column to be a different subject. So those are YouTube, um, Instagram, blog, and my side business, Norwex. With that being said, the entire spread is fair game after that. I skip around quite a bit because one idea usually sparks another, and that's just part of my process with planning for social media. So I apologize if that confuses anyone, but if you see me moving up and down, and around the spread it is because I got an idea for a different subject so just to kind of make things a little clear right now I'm writing in the blog section of my social media planner so I apologize for that but this is just a midweek check-in so you can see the true way that I plan for my social media and in my petite planner towards the middle of the week and the reason why I wanted to start filming these check-ins is because I just kind of wanted to let you into my creative process but then also show you how I plan um, when I don't plan for the entire week at one time.
So now I'm finishing up the different things that I am doing for my side business for the end of the week. And I'm pretty much done with this spread. Um, as you can see, most of the um, boxes are filled in and some of them I did put stickers in when I knew I probably wasn't going to be doing anything. Now moving on to my petite planner. Um, usually I have it in my on the go folio, but I did not. I went ahead and took it out for this video. And so I'm going to show you how I plan for the next three days. So I've already planned for today, which is Thursday. And then I'm going to show you how I plan for the weekend, Friday through Sunday. So for decorating in my petite planner, I'm going to use this farmhouse sticker book by The Happy Planner. I will do my best to find a link for that if it's still available and leave it in the description below. I'm also going to include the links to the Erin Condren Life Planner, Petite Planner, On The Go Folio, the Life Planner cover that I have in this video, as well as the dual tip markers in the description below. And if you decide to use these, I want to thank you in advance because I'm able to continue to bring new, fresh content and product reviews to this channel.
Now I'm just pulling out my little Create With Pen um, sticker album that I got. I will include that link in the description below as well. Um, this sticker album holds all of my little bitty sticker sheets and it's just an easy way to keep them in one place so that I don't forget about them or lose them. So I'm just looking through here to find very specific stickers as to what I have to do this weekend. So my little meeting stickers that I have in here, I'm going to use those at the top of each um, date. So I just wanted to let you know what I was looking for in there and that is a really good way I found to kind of store these little sticker sheets I believe that you can also find these little sticker albums and you can just get four by six photo albums um, and use that as well so that's just a little hack that I use but I got a really good deal on it so I went ahead and purchased it with that cute little design from create with pen So that is it for my midweek check-in. You can see that I finished Friday through Sunday for the rest of the week in my petite planner. And then I also finished my social media life planner as well. As I mentioned before, I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and commenting below what content you'd like to see in the future.